So I originally put out the blog post um, on Twitter, and then a bunch of people started tweeting back at me with their numbers. Um, and then I realized I needed to set up a place to collect those numbers because Twitter app mentions are not a very good way to collect your data and do any sort of analysis on them. Uh, so right after that, I said, Also spoken like an engineer. <laughs> and by the way, here's the blog post for anybody who's curious, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, but I bet a lot of folks have. Yeah, so that photo on the top, or that's, that was the um, logo on um, a T-shirt in the Stanford Computer Science Department some number of years before I was there that indicated the gender ratios. <laughs> uh, so Got this it. is the blog post. And um, I set up a GitHub repository uh, alongside the blog post to actually start tracking those numbers. And, and, and as you can see, people started inputting this information. And this is all self-inputted, right? You're, you're yeah. relying on the companies to be honest about this stuff. Yeah, so I ask for people when they submit to include um, their con contributor name, so if it's the person themselves, and then um, their source. So it might be just internal headcount for small companies that just go around and count. Um, in some places, larger companies like ThoughtWorks, they had a business analyst focused on diversity pooling the numbers from HR. Um, so they gave me some metadata around this information. Um, and in fact, this was largely seen as the thing that spurred companies like Facebook and Google to then subsequently relate, release larger reports, right? Yeah, I think it was a little bit of the snowball effect where all these, started, all these companies started putting their data out there. And it's not a lot of data, but it is one really interesting data point. Um, and I think it indicated more broadly that people wanted to change the status quo. And this was the first concrete action they could take, which was to put some data out there. Um, right. So I think it just signaled something about the general sentiment in the community. So 18 months later, I mean, what have you seen? What has been the reaction to this? Are companies continuing to update it, talk about it? Yeah. Um, so if you look at that column, the last updated column, you can see people have been updating it over time. Um, so I, kind of, I get submissions probably like one or two times a week. Um, so people are continuously updating. Um, the larger companies obviously have put out their data as well. And um, I'm anticipating some more updates coming up soon. As Google published their big diversity data report in May of last year. Right. So the one year anniversary of that is coming up soon. Right.